Unsheathe those claws and watch out for death rays. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 comic book character rivalries. I have waited an eternity for this. For this list, we're focusing on superheroes and their greatest evil counterparts, rather than the rivalries between heroes. Is there anything else? Yeah. I want a bloody costume. Number 10, Wolverine versus Sabretooth. You got insurance in this place? Insurance? No. Too bad. It's brute strength versus brute strength in this super-powered showdown. While neither Wolverine nor his arch nemesis are known for their ability to think through situations, they share a primal, overpowering urge to rip things to shreds. Tell me something, Jimmy. Do you even know how to kill me? I'm gonna cut your goddamn head off. Because they also both boast enhanced healing ability, their battles often make for hours of fine spectacle. Though many agree that Sabretooth is faster and stronger, Wolverine has a skeleton of adamantium to back him up. So what now? Now? I own your ass. Come on. Number 9. Green Lantern versus Sinestro. Who wins in a battle between fear and courage? And destroy evil wherever it may hide. It comes down to who's fighting. On one side, Sinestro, wielding the awesome power of terror. And on the other, Hal Jordan with the combined might of the Green Lantern Corps at his fingertips. And you thought I was green before. Jordan. Though courage will always overcome fear, Sinestro was once a Green Lantern himself and therefore knows all the tricks. You know who I am. You don't know where I am. And you'll never see me coming. Number 8. Iron Man vs. Mandarin Technology battles mysticism in this epic face-off. That. You sure that's not one of his? It predates any known Mandarin attack. The incident was the use of a bomb to assist a suicide. Although both Tony Stark and his fiendish foe are genius-level thinkers, adept in both science and technology, the latter has a distinct advantage with knowledge of alien technology and the mystical arts. You will learn to respect the demands of the Mandarin's new world. You won't live to enjoy its glorious darkness. In original appearances, the Mandarin was capable of destroying Iron Man's suit with his bare hands. But this has been retconned to give both opponents an equal footing. Tony Stark, how oh, glorious! How oh, perfect! How oh, obvious. Number 7 Captain America versus Red Skull. 70 million lives out like brief candles. And Captain America can do nothing about it. Good old American values clash with fascist totalitarianism when these two meet on the battlefield. Initially a Nazi no-goodnik, the Red Skull became head of an analogous comic book group called Hydra and attempted, over and over, to take over the world. Hail Hydra! Hail Hydra! Luckily, Cap is always there to save the day with his superhuman abilities, indestructible shield, and winning can-do attitude. Mr. President! Thanks. Number 6. Thor vs. Loki. Thor? Odinson? My heir? My firstborn? It's the trickster god versus the god of thunder in this battle for Earth and Asgard. Brains don't always overcome brawn when the stakes are so high. 
Thor may look like a roided out muscle freak with a big hammer, but he has the well-being and protection of all innocent peoples at heart. And while his adopted bro is clearly more of a thinker than a fighter, Loki's evil schemes tend to be overcomplicated and easily foiled. I am a god, you dull creature, and I will not be bullied by that. Number 5. The Fantastic Four vs. Doctor Doom Painful? You don't know the meaning of the word. When this fantastic family foursome does battle with their avidly evil arch-nemesis, worlds collide. <laughs> Reed Richards and his brood have been enhanced by cosmic rays, but their world-saving activities often put them at odds with the aptly named Victor Von Doom, a technological genius and practitioner of mystical arts. Reed and Victor are constantly vying to prove which one is smartest. So tell me, what happens when you superheat rubber? The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the goblin and took the spider out. Number 4. Spider-Man vs. Green Goblin Where Peter Parker is actively trying to make a difference and save lives, Norman Osborn, aka the Green Goblin, is just out to cause havoc and do evil. There aren't any humanizing motivations here. Gobby is just a nutty bad guy and Spider-Man is just trying to stop him. Things kind of get out of hand though when, on one of his daily rampages, Goblin effectively murders Gwen Stacy, Peter Parker's girlfriend at the time. You're an amazing creature, Spider-Man. You and I are not so different. I'm not like you. You're a murderer. Well, to each his own. Number 3. Professor X vs. Magneto Doesn't it ever wake you in the middle of the night? The feeling that someday they will pass that foolish law or one just like it, and come for you. The most mortal enemies are often friends at first. They share similar values and even fight for the same thing. How does it look from there, Charles? Still fighting the good fight? From here, it doesn't look like they're playing by your rules. But what makes Magneto and Professor X interesting is that they are two sides to the same coin and want the same thing for their species. Their difference lies in how they attempt to bring about this betterment. You have a home and a family. You know he thinks your power is too great for you to control. Eric, I don't believe your mind games are going to work in a war, Charles. So you want to control me? No. He does. No. Number two, Superman versus Lex Luthor. Amazing! Too good to be true. It's too good to be true. He's six foot four, has black hair, blue eyes, doesn't drink, doesn't smoke, and tells the truth. This is another brain versus brawn match with an interesting twist. Luther is only human, whereas Superman has all of the powers. Luckily for Q-Ball, Supes doesn't usually go out of his way to kill his villains, and Luther is too rich to stay behind bars. Is that how a warped brain like yours gets its kicks? By planning the death of innocent people? No. By causing the death of innocent people. Their conflicts often boil down to the big blue boy scout asking Luther politely to stop doing whatever he's doing. Fly. Before we unmask our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Number one, Batman versus the Joker. <coughs> A little fight in you. I like that. And you're gonna love me. 
Representing a duality that has existed since the birth of man, Batman and his nemesis forever reenact the battle between good and evil. Tell me something, my friend. You ever dance with the devil in the pale moonlight? What? While one refuses to kill the other, both are fighting for opposite ideologies. They are perhaps the most famous example of chaos versus order in pop culture today, and will continue to be for a long time. You see, this is how crazy Batman's made Gotham. You want order in Gotham. Batman must take off his mask and turn himself in. Oh, and every day he doesn't, people will die. Do you agree with our list? I hate you. What's your favorite hero arch enemy combo? All of you. For more epic top tens published daily, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. And now I send our tortured souls to rest. Speak for yourself. <clears throat>